All right. How does my hair look? <laughs> test, test. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sarah Wilson. I'm the University Recruiter for Tech Systems. And today I'm here to talk with you about building relationships and how to leverage this in the business world. Due to the nature of my job and being in a sales organization or any sales position for that matter, the premise of how to do good business is through building relationships. All relationships start out on basic, simple level through very basic interaction or an introduction. If you connect with that person though, a com through a commonality, a shared interest, you will probably continue to invest in that relationship in order to build a deeper, more significant bond. The way I've learned to identify and break down uh, understanding of relationships in a business sense is defining them as level one, level two, and level three. So let's start at level one. What is this? What does that mean? Maybe it's the regular barista who makes your fancy coffee drink, someone you say hi to in class. You may talk with them about your hobbies, similar interests, but you keep that relationship in a safe place. In the business realm, sometimes we remain at level one relationships with people because it's comfortable, it's safe, it doesn't expose us to risk. But whoever said, I had the best day ever because I played it safe. The most rewarding relationships come from conversations that happen when you move beyond the surface. And business deals or sales start happening when you move beyond that surface level because you're starting to build trust with that person. How might you move past that level one? Seek out and take advantage of opportunities to share vulnerabilities. It's okay to be vulnerable with people. Share a story, talk about your passions, tell them about your goals. But remember, a good business or salesperson is a really good listener. So discover what's important to that other person. Find out what matters to them, what drives them, what they're motivated and passionate about. So moving past that level one relationship to level two. These people are the individuals that you interact with daily and know well. Most of your relationships are gonna be at level two. You have a professional and a personal relationship with this person from a business perspective, and this is vital. A level two relationship goes beyond the surface level and focuses on supporting each other, prioritizing what's most important and ensuring intentions are always pure. This is where the most of your relationships in a business environment will be and will remain for the duration of your relationship. It might take time to get to a level two, but when you're able to achieve this type of bond with a customer, they will want to do business with you because they trust you. Now, you might be thinking, how do I deepen my level two relationship? Or what would be the benefit of deepening that level two relationship? Moving beyond level two to level three relationship. The benefit would be building strong, uh, strong relationship with this person uh, they would be your support system if you're going through tough times and they know almost everything about you. This person will be able to give you tough feedback or have hard conversation with you uh, at times, but you know it's coming from a pure place and because this person truly cares about you, you know you have that foundation of trust. You won't be able to get on a level three with everybody, but once you do, you will have a profound positive impact uh, in that person's life. Often these level three relationships develop uh, when you face obstacles or failure, either personally or professionally, and you openly show your vulnerability by leaning on this person for support. So today, I challenge you to go beyond the safe zone, take some risk, be a little bit vulnerable, show your humanness to an acquaintance or a friend, and see how you can invest in that relationship to strengthen that bond. Now, take out your customer list, write down level one, level two, level three next to their name, and then take a yellow highlighter. Which relationships are appropriate to take to the next level and what you might do with those relationships to move forward? Is it a coffee? Is it a lunch? Is it a golf outing? Or is it an article that you read about their business that you wanted to pass along? Internalize your list and you will see your friendships and your business grow. Above all, be yourself and have fun. Thank you.